Hello and welcome to Sprite Academy. Today is our third installment of three episodes on how to draw your own forest sprite. And today what we're going to be looking at is how to draw wings for our forest sprite and how to draw a little border to go around as well. And you'll see that I've actually done this in the wrong order for this sprite myself. Um, so I'm going to go through the wings with you first and then go back to um, doing the border even though I did it in the other order. Um, so as you can see when we do wings we always want the top wings to be bigger and the bottom wings to be smaller. And you always want to try your best to sort of make them as even as possible but it's fine if they're not perfect. As you can see mine are a little bit wonky um, and that's totally fine. Now I'm just going to show you the leaf that I'm using to copy for these wings. So it's got um, a nice design with um, lots of little model-y bits on it as well. So, And that's for the bottom wing. So for the bottom wing I'm going to use that small leaf and for the top wing I'm going to use the bigger one. And I think they're both the same sort of leaf, they're just different varieties of it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to hold that out on my page so I can get a good idea of what it looks like and I'm going to copy it onto my forest sprite. So I recommend um, if you have any, if you want to use leaves to inspire your wings, you could also do a similar thing and try and find some leaves around your garden. We're also later on going to be looking at how to do butterfly wings for our forest sprite. So um, watch that as well before you make a decision as to which sort of wings you want to use. Now I'm just copying the shape, the little curvy bits on the wing, um, on the um, veins of the leaf there. I'm trying to make it as similar to the leaf as possible. So I've drawn the main veins and now I'm just going to also draw the smaller veins. Alright, and now I'm having a look at the bigger leaf and what the veins look like there and paying very close attention, um, although my leaf is curling up a bit because I cut it off my plan a little while ago. Um, but yeah, just trying to pay really close attention to what those veins look like. And I'll just speed that up for you. And I'm just thickening up those main vein lines now. And then in between all of those lines, I'm going to draw um, much smaller veins to copy the leaf that I was drawing. Alright, and now I'm just going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. And after I'm done with this, I'm going to start stippling. So you'll notice that my light source is in the top right of my page and I'm just doing lots of little dots to create shading. So where the leaf folds down, I'm shading there and um, where it's tilted away from the light, I'm doing all those little dots. And then I'm um, not doing dots where the light is hitting the leaf in my imaginary forest sprite. Alright, so now what we're going to be doing is learning how to draw butterfly wings. So um, what I want you to do is basically do a really big top wing and it's going to be sort of like a, a rounded triangle shape for that top wing and mine are super wonky. Try and make yours a little bit more symmetrical than mine are, um, but if yours are wonky too, that's totally fine. And then for the bottom wings, we're going to do sort of um, a little oval shape um, that comes out there, so sort of a similar shape. Um, to what I've done, although I know it's a bit hard to see with the pencil. And then after that, what we're going to do is draw this little teardroppy oval shape coming out um, on both of the wings. And then coming out from that little oval shape, we're going to draw um, another couple of little teardrop oval shapes in the, the way that I'm doing here. So just copy what I'm doing on the screen. And then after that, we're going to um, draw some other little um, circles coming off. So it's some oval shapes we've got here that are sort of not attached to those teardrop shapes. And then some tiny little circles we're going to have around the edges and the border of the butterfly shape. And there you have it. That's our top butterfly wing. And I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Alright, and now we're going to do the bottom wing. So that's going to start off with one of those um, overly teardrop shapes coming out into the, the middle of each of those um, bottom wings. And then off each of those little teardrop shapes, we're going to draw um, another bunch of 
teardrops coming out and um, sort of fanning out towards the edges. And then just like with our top wings, we're going to draw lots of tiny little circles around the edges. And there you go. And next I'm going to go over everything that I've done in pencil and pen. But there's one thing I want you to take notice of that I'm doing. And I don't have a hard line at the end, as you can see there, of the um, rounded part of that teardrop shape. I'm using sort of a wavy um, light line. And I'm, I'm using that to create the effect of... I kind of want this idea of those shapes there, of those teardrops, to be blending into the rest of the butterfly. So it's not it's not a hard line, it's not a perfectly rounded hard line, but I'm yeah, using those small um, little wavy um, effect with the pen in order to yeah make it blend in better. That top teardrop there, I'm, I'm not going to fill in the whole thing. I'm just going, as you see, um, to do a little small oval there. All right, and I'll just speed up the rest of that for you. All right, I'm just going to fill in the gaps between all those um, circles and teardrops we've drawn with a texture. You don't have to do this. Um, it's totally up to you, but it means I'm going to be able to get that sort of more blended effect in where the, the teardrops are kind of blending into the background of the butterfly. And that's the butterfly completed. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like when I draw the butterfly wings onto one of our little forest sprites. And there we go. Now what we're going to do is move on to drawing the borders for our forest sprites. And with the borders, you can basically do whatever you want, but I'm just going to show you a couple of different methods that I've used to hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration. So you want to start off drawing the shape of your um, border, just so you know that it's not wonky and it's all even. And then what I've done for this border is I'm just drawing very simple leaf shapes. And if you want to learn how to draw a leaf shape really well, I go through it in the third episode of the um, Fairy Forest series. Um, so you can see that there. But yeah, basically I'm just doing these sort of wonky almond shapes with a line through the middle, which is what our leaves look like. And I'll give you a close-up just here of how I'm drawing the veins inside the leaves as well. And I'm just going to fill in the gaps between some of those leaves with flowers. And then once I'm done with that, there we have it, my border. Now I'm going to show you some techniques for drawing some of the flowers that you can incorporate. So I'm drawing a rose just now. And we want to start off with a little circle or swirl in the middle. And then we're going to move to having some petals coming out from that. Um, so those petals are going to be in yeah, sort of the shape where we... Uh, coming out into a peak and then coming back in. Um, so it's almost like a triangular shape, but with a little bit of a curve to it. We're going to just draw lots of little petals that spiral out around this rose. And then once we're done with that, we're just going to shade in our rose as well by um, just drawing lots of little lines in the, the middle of where the petals are. And now I'm just going to add a few leaves onto um, this rose. And you'll notice I start off with sort of a curved shape and then I um, create two curves around that curve. And then in the middle of that, um, I draw in my veins, which come out towards the pointy end of the leaf. And now I'm going to show you how to draw some flowers. All you need to do is start off with a little circle in the middle and draw some ovals coming out. Um, it's pretty straightforward. If you want to watch me go more into depth on how to draw flowers, you can watch the third episode of the Fairy Forest series. Um, so some of them I'll include a middles to and some of them I won't draw a middle in. Um, and that's totally fine. The beauty of drawing flowers is you want to make them as varied and diverse as possible. Now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm drawing sort of a little vine coming out. So drawing a wavy line and lots of little teardrop 
overall shapes coming off that so that's another really cool thing you can bring into the the mix of your floral design and I'm just going to add some shading in as well to each of those flowers by drawing little lines coming out from the middle like I did with the rose. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like using this technique on my sprite. So I've left a gap at the bottom for her name, Florence. And yeah, now I'm just going to draw the flowers coming around that oval into a beautiful border for her. Thank you so much for watching this episode and for watching this whole series of Sprite Academy. I've enjoyed it so much and I hope you guys have wonderful, cute little sprites to show for it. And I would love it so much if you could email me pictures of those sprites or share them with me on Facebook. My email address is spriteacademyart at gmail.com and you can find me at Sprite Academy Art on Facebook. I hope you all have a wonderful week.